In front of me, I have two items from the ESP range and they are aptly named the Quick Draw Rucksack and Quick Draw Unhooking Mat. The idea here is very simple. These are small, light weight items of luggage and of course an unhooking mat perfectly suited to the kind of guy that doesn't take a lot of kit, wants to be able to move quickly, move freely, and isn't bogged down by loads of tackle, loads of luggage that is heavy, bulky, and simply slowing you down. So if you're that kind of guy, then these couple of bits here might fit perfectly into your luggage range. Now, like I say, there's two here. We've got the rucksack and we've got the mat. The rucksack comes complete with what can be used as a tackle storage system on the top. We'll look a little bit more at that in a minute, uh, but they're sold separately. So the mat comes on its own and then the rucksack complete with the tackle storage system that comes as a package. So you get a rucksack and a box on top. And as you can see here, they clip together nicely. So first of all, we'll have a little look at the rucksack and then at the end we'll have a look at the unhooking mat itself so the first thing to do is just detach the unhooking mat from the rucksack pop these little clips there we go unhooking mat out the way and we can look at the rucksack itself okay so like i said it's a small rucksack nice and lightweight now although it is a small rucksack it has lots of different features and i will work my way around the rucksack and run you through them now on the side here in fact on both sides we have these external pockets they undo via the zip very simply and if you look inside there you can see you've got storage all the way down to the base of the bag so that pocket is the full length for the rucksack ensuring you're maximizing the storage space available with the rucksack of this size do the zips back up on the outside here we've got one two three four little elasticated straps and in there you can slot your bank sticks they'll slot in through there and they'll go down into here and that will lock them in place at the bottom and you've got a little bit of elasticity at the top. So that holds it in place, that fixes it in place at the base. So you can get four sticks on the outside there. You can put other things in there of course, but you know, most people I think are probably gonna put bank sticks in there. On the top of the rucksack, we've got these little carry straps and there's one on this side and if I turn it round, there's another on the other side. So you've got one strap on either side, obviously one for each hand. On the front of the rucksack, there is another large pocket and you'll see once again that the pocket size runs from the floor to the top once again maximizing the available space here so that pocket is as big as it can be there is two zips on the side and these enable you to access this main pouch so if i undo those zips and we look inside that pocket you'll see you've got lots of space inside and again you can keep whatever you want in there zip that back up and again on the front we've got one two three four five six bits of elastic this time and then the same at the bottom another six holders at the bottom so again you can put your bank sticks on here it's up to you whereabouts on this rucksack you want to position them but these little bits of elastic here and these bits on the bottom here will secure them firmly in place on this side of the rucksack as previously mentioned you've got another of the large pockets complete with the elasticated straps etc for bank sticks and like I said you can put whatever you want in there distance sticks bank sticks anything thin that will fit you can put on there it is up to you on the top of the rucksack is the tackle storage system now if I open this up on both sides we can look inside the first thing to notice is this is the main storage system and you've got two dividers in there so you can space these however you want they're velcro on so you can move them about to suit what you're putting inside there and on the top here we've got the zip compartment pretty much fully waterproof water can get through the zip but the main compartment itself is made with this sort of meshed plastic and will prevent any water getting in there if we look inside there you go that is your storage in the top of the bag so again making use of the space that the actual flap itself offers you do this back up close it up and then we can detach this from the rucksack using the clips so one clip two clips three clips four now here is the pouch so very simple and easy to detach from the bag that means you can take it out in a boat with you stash it under your bed chair if you want to go stalking but you don't want the rucksack just take the pouch whatever you want to do take it indoors at the end of your session and sort bits and pieces out very simple and easy to remove from the rucksack but at the same time very simple to attach back to it 
ensuring that when you want to move, you don't leave your important bits and pieces behind. So I'm going to pop these four clips back together. On the back of the rucksack, of course, we've got the straps. And as you would imagine, there is padding in both the straps themselves and then once again on the back of the rucksack. And this is here to prevent any discomfort when you're carrying it. You don't want to be prodded in the back by what you're keeping inside. So these bits of padding just make it a more comfortable rucksack to wear. Last thing to do is look inside the rucksack itself. So if I undo this zip, we can open it up and have a little gander. And as you can see inside here, you've got quite a lot of room, you know, for a small rucksack, you've got just about as much room as you could possibly get out of this rucksack. There are no internal pockets, anything like that. It's just a one piece storage compartment. And in there, you can put whatever you like. Here we have another pocket, and this is of the exact same makeup as the one that's in the tackle pouch. It's got a zip and it's pretty much waterproof. So that is the rucksack and that is $89.99. And now we will look at the unhooking mat. So I'll get rid of that and bring this in. We'll have a look at the unhooking mat. Right, first things first, as you can see, it rolls up nicely. So super compact, snug as a bug when it's tightened up by the clips on top. And to open up the mat, we need to undo these clips. So let's just go wallop, there we go. Now we can roll the mat out. Roll that out. Spread it out, pat it down, and that will reveal the full size of the mat. And as you can see, it's actually a lot bigger than you think. When it's all rolled up, it looks like a diddy little mat, but once you spread it out and reveal it in its entirety, it's much bigger than you think. Now, at the front of the mat is this, and this is where it gets the name, the quick draw. If I give that a pull, you'll see that the sides come up. And at the other end, there's another one. And by tightening those two up, you get this sort of cradle effect. As you can see, it pulls the sides in, and that gives you the sort of, like I say, that cradle style unhooking mat. To put the mat away, we're gonna loosen that one, go up to the other end, loosen off the other one, and then gonna fold the sides in, and then roll it up. And then we just clip it back together. One that side. One that side. All right, there we go, jobs are good. And so the mat is gonna cost you 69.99, the rucksack 89.99, and the pair together, 160. And remember, if you're a Sopography member and you shop with Fish on Tackle, you can save 10% on just about everything, including this little lot. You've just had a small taste of the content we produce here at Sopography, and if you would like the full experience, please head over to www.sopography.co.uk where we have over 600 premium videos waiting for you.